Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this real good food, uh, real good breakfast sandwiches. This is made with grain-free cheesy bread, which sounds good, but it's grain-free bread. Uh, four grams of net carbs, 18 grams of protein per sandwich. There are four sandwiches in the pack. 16 grams or 452, um, or 16 ounces or 452 grams total. Uh, this one is the bacon, egg, and cheddar cheese flavor on a grain-free cheesy bread. Yeah, we bought these at Kroger, $4.99, not, I mean, four, yeah, $7.99, sorry, $7.99, not cheap by any means, but $2 per sandwich, I don't know, I guess you could balance it out and say it's not too bad. Um, there's the information, 4 grams of net carbs, 18 grams of protein, guilt-free, gluten-free, grain-free, 290 calories per sandwich, and there's the other info if you want to, uh, to read it, and it shows, there's how they calculated their, their net carbs calculate whatever way you do so the directions are it says that for best results basically the recommended version is to refrigerate it so I took this whole box and just stuck it in the refrigerator and thawed the whole thing out so we're going to remove the sandwich from the box and the wrapper wrap, wrap tightly on a paper towel microwave for 30 seconds flip the sandwich and microwave for, for another 25 seconds and if you're doing it from frozen you're basically just going to add more time to it so uh, so I'm going to do this um, from refrigerated of course so uh, 30 and 25 This is where you get your paper cut. This is why pull tabs are nice. This is what it looks like. Let's see if there's one that's not falling apart. That one looks a little better. So I'm gonna get this opened up, put it in a paper towel, and uh, get in the microwave, and I'll be back. Hey, so here it is out of the microwave. I haven't done anything with it, so I'm just gonna open it up. I can tell you what, it smells bad. It stinks, stink, stank, stunk. It smells horrible. Um, Right, there it is and you can see there's the bread the cheese turned to literally a liquid I mean like water almost um, and there's your bacon or some form of bacon the heck is that yeah yeah that's bacon and there's that cheesy bread it's hot so I'm gonna let this cool off for a minute and I'll be back hey okay, while this is cooling off I do want to go on a little bit of a rant maybe not a rant but just a complaint uh, first of all, when I bought these, I've been really leery of real good foods for a while now because I really haven't enjoyed a lot of them, but sometimes they have really good stuff, so I, I get them. So when it said grain-free cheesy bread, okay, made with grain-free cheesy bread, it even says at the bottom, bacon, egg, and che cheddar cheese, grain-free cheesy bread. You're thinking, oh, it's some kind of grain-free bread, whatever, you know, whatever it may be. You don't know what it really is until you either read the ingredients or one little bitty line at the very bottom. So nowhere in here does it say what it's actually made out of. It's a cauliflower bun. That's why it smells bad. That's why it stinks. It smells like cooked cauliflower, which stinks. Um, so it says that in the ingredient list, the cauliflower bun is made with cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, um, pasteurized milk, cheese cultures, salt and enzyme, par Parmesan cheese, um, and that's it. That's all I see. So, um, so that's, that's what the bread's made of. So it says it in the ingredients and one little line about the temperature says our cheesy cauliflower buns are patent pending. I think they did that on purpose because if they didn't, if they had put on there grain free cauliflower cheesy bread, I wouldn't have bought it. Uh, flat out, I wouldn't have bought it because um, I would have read that as cauliflower bun and said, Ugh, I'm not gonna eat that. That being said, I think that's unfortunate. Just be more careful when you're, I need to be more careful when I'm looking at the uh, ingredients for these grain-free foods that it's not cauliflower based. That being said, I'll always go with these open-minded. It might be a wonderful piece of cauliflower bread. It just smells bad. So here we go. It's hard to swallow. Um, it's because it's so thick and dry. The um, the cauliflower bread is awful. It's just horrible. I mean, maybe if you'd like raw cauliflower, you would like that, but um, I do not. So it's it's just not any good for me. The bacon though, that was the whole slice. That's it. The bacon's gone. 
the bacon's good. It's not the best bacon ever. It's got a little bit of that, um, you know, smoky bacon flavor, but that, that's about all it's got going for it. The eggs, the egg looks okay. It's just, it's a little scrambled egg. Yeah, it's just a, just a plain scrambled up egg. It doesn't have anything special going on. The cheese is such, is the kind of cheese where it just turns that water anyway, kind of like an American cheese slice. Um, it really doesn't have much flavor. It doesn't have any texture. I, they may not only put it in there because it's just wasting calories. Probably adding carbs too. Um, the bread though, the cheesy bread, the cauliflower bread, I don't like it at all. It's it's thick, it's dry, it's um, it tastes like cauliflower. If you like cauliflower stuff, you might absolutely love this thing. But if you're like me and you don't like cauliflower stuff, you're gonna be a little ticked off when you get that home and you realize that's cauliflower. So um, I think if you're on like keto and you're watching your um, your carbs and stuff, you eat more cauliflower type stuff anyway. Um, I know one time it was like uh, mashed potatoes, but you make it out of cauliflower and people were like, oh, you can't even tell the difference. Yeah, you can, it tastes like cauliflower. Um, so anyway, these for me are a two, not quite a spit it out, I can't stomach it, one. But it's a good, it's a solid two. I don't like them at all. Um, and it's all down to the cauliflower flavor. It just tastes like cauliflower. Um, and again, if you like that, go for it. If you don't, don't buy them. So uh, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.